How you keep the boundaries between being a confidant and a parent with your teen is, number one, you've got to be able to listen to them. You can't just keep telling them what they need to do and what hasn't been done yet. If you get that, you start getting conditioning, and all, over time what happens is they see you and they go right on the defensive thinking you're telling them, approaching them, telling them what they need to do. Sit back and listen. I think also parents need to understand that your kid needs a parent, not a friend. They have plenty of friends, and if they don't have friends, they still need you as a parent, which means they still need that accountability. When you can hold your teen accountable to their behavior, it actually makes them feel contained and safe. There's some structure there. If they get too high in the hierarchy, it makes them feel anxious because you've led them your whole life. I think it's important that parents fight for time with their teenagers. As they get older, they don't want that time, and you'll start to see a rift in the relationship of communication lines. What parents need to really do is fight for time with their kids. Every kid doesn't want to, but needs to have that relationship with their parent. I think as parents, think about it. If you had a good childhood, bad childhood, whether your parents are dead or alive, there's a part of you as an adult that needs your mom or your dad in your life right now. It's like that times 100 for your kid. It's not convenient, but it's a big need.